Is that butter? You didn't put butter on there. Nah, that's not butter. Don't lie to me, dude. That that that's not butter on a pizza. Is it breakfast food? Cause it's literally toast with garlic butter. Let me tell you, I made me. Dude, nah, dude. <laughs> this just I don't know what to tell you. If you're sitting here and you're putting butter on your pizza. I really think that maybe we need to have a conversation real quick. I think that needs, there needs to be a serious intervention. You have reached a serious level of obesity that I think is probably unfathomable. How did you manage to put butter? Who even comes up with that combination? Hey everyone, it's me, Emily, and this is what I eat in a day. I haven't done one of these in a long time because I used to have a brand deal with a company um, and it was really easy to fit them in in what I eat in a day videos and then that was all I made for a, a while and I just got burnt out on these. And also, sometimes I hate to listening to people tell me I'm a fat, dumb bitch. So true, dude, true. You know, I think brand deals could be very, very good. But I think given the circumstance that we're in, we're in right now, this would be like the equivalent of a crackhead getting a brand deal for like some luxury liner version of some really good crack. You know what I'm talking about? Like that crack that you could probably vibrate your body type of thing. And I know... Being rewarded for bad behavior only increases more bad behavior, right? So, it's probably not the best thing to get a brand deals for food. For food. Out of everything, dude. And you gotta think, right? Those people that were sitting in that boardroom, they were like, you know what? <laughs> I was just thinking, this is like a funny, this is a great idea, okay? I was thinking about this. How about we give a very, very obese woman a brand deal? Can you imagine this? Like, she's gonna die already, so we might as well just, like, make it faster, right? Just throw her food. Don't even pay her in money. Pay her in food. And it's a, you know, why wouldn't you take the food? It's free food, right? Why wouldn't you? So, probably not the best, but, you know, it's the life we live. <laughs> so, this is what I ate today. I had some leftover Taco Bell. I had my coffee earlier. I had um, cereal for breakfast. For Cereal, by the way, is okay for breakfast. I know some people drink nut milk in their cereal. Can't do that. I know a dude that actually used to drink cereal with water. He used to real deal pull out the the checks and put it underneath the the, the you know the tap dude turn that John, turn that John, John on and just literally eat the checks mix with water and I used to think that I was like bro why don't you just go to the grocery store and get some milk and he's like no nah, I just prefer to eat it like this and I thought that he was there was something wrong with him like there was no way that somebody's gonna eat cereal with water that's crazy to me eating it dry would be better than eating it with water but. He ate it with water, dude. Now, if you're the type of person that likes to eat cereal with nut milk or even the meat milk from cows, that's fine. I don't think there's any problem with it. Just try to make sure that whatever cereal you're eating is not like, you know, there's there's this Fruit Loops, uh, uh, Fruity Pebbles, chocolate, chocolate Pebbles or whatever, dude. Uh, the, the one with the Captain Crunch on it. Those cereals are for children, okay? And don't get me wrong. Tricks are for kids and adults. You can also have them. But you have to also understand... You're living a sedentary life, right? You're sitting down all day. I know your butt cheeks are on a chair right now. Don't don't come at me, okay, dude? I know your butt cheeks are on a chair, and that's fine. Just understand that when you're a children, you run around. You're very active. Maybe not kids nowadays because, like, the kids nowadays I see. You ever see kids? Man, kids nowadays are literally just on their phones 24-7. By the way, I didn't have a phone growing up. Did you have a phone growing up, dude? And nowadays, all these kids have phones fucking playstations dude they got all these great amenities and i grew up you know what i had i had nothing i literally like i didn't even have a microwave when i was growing up you know what i had to do to heat up my food i had to pick up the frozen food and go <gasps> for 45 minutes that's right do you feel bad now all your privilege that's right dude feel fucking bad by the way if you look at this look at this right here right ready if you look at that right there that aunt jemima syrup you're gay anyway <laughs> I fucking got you. <laughs> I got you. Ha <laughs> ha, you gay. <laughs> Lunch. I made, um, oh, it's just my face. I had chips. That was a big How chip. you gonna say I made and then say chips right after that? That's crazy. I was impressed. And then I had a chicken patty. Yeah, chicken patty on a bun with some Chicken ketchup. patties are okay. And then I had um, some. Dude, can somebody tell me how you guys wash these? Because I have, I stole, listen, I got so many straws in my house. I steal them anytime I go. Luckily here in my state, you could still get plastic straws. I know they're bad for the environment. But it's always like an anomaly when I see people go, oh, it's the environment. The environment's so bad, David. We need to really like buckle down and recycle. By the way, most plastics you recycle are not actually being recycled. Okay. How does that make you feel? You don't feel good anymore, do you? Huh? 
papers probably do get recycled. But then again, paper is really not that big of an issue in comparison to like everything else that's a really big issue. And then also, I got to keep it a solid buck with you guys. We are not the problem, okay? Being in America, we're good, okay? We do pretty good work when it comes to recycling and things such and so forth. Go over to India. Go to India, where they're slicing food with their toenails, and they're dipping their penis inside water to flavor it up, because apparently they have, like, seasoned penises over there in India. I was not aware of this. Can anybody tell me if this is true? I've never ingested a male's penis before, and to top it off, I've never ingested an Indian man's penis to top that off, right? But I feel like if you were to suck a, an Indian guy's penis, it would, like, your, you ever see that... You ever see Beetlejuice? You know that one scene in Beetlejuice where the guy's head got really, really small? That's what I imagine it to be like because I'm not saying this across all Indians, but for some reason, whenever I watch Indian culinary cooking, I'm always so disappointed because I see people doing things that I never see before in my entire life. Like forming forming food by taking like a substance of bread or something like that and just placing underneath the armpit with hair and just going like this. Just going like this, forming it with your armpit, which is insane. You couldn't do this? You don't have gloves over there? You can't do shit, dude? Um, but I would never suck an Indian guy's penis, right? And I would never do that. But these dudes are always throwing... They just toss food, man. Do you ever see... I remember watching this documentary about the waterways and the water canals in India. And these dudes was literally bathing. And um, I saw probably tons and tons and tons of plastic cups and all this other stuff. And I saw this one dude. He was just like bathing in that shit. And then the cameraman like panned up. And he like zoomed in, right? And there was a dude further down. That dude was dumping ass in the water. He was just busting it down. And it's a downstream. And these dudes was washing themselves in it. They were like, this is the holy water. This is like ambrosia to us. And I'm just like, damn. Like, what, but what about that guy over there? Like, does he not care about that shit? Like, that dude is a real deal just busting it down right now, dude. That guy looks like he's been eating here. What, you guys don't care about that? And then, you know what? Indian culture is just so weird to me, right? Like, if you're an Indian, can you please let me know um, why you guys don't do shit about cows sitting in the street? How many times have I seen a video of a cow just, like, two or three cows just chilling in the middle of the street? And do you guys have licenses, by the way? Because I'm always, like, really concerned when I see Indian people driving. Because I'm like, dude, you guys, I don't know how you guys don't, like, automatically always die. Because you guys somehow manage to, like, weave in and out of, like, traffic so, so accurately, too. And living on the edge. But I've seen videos of, like, Indian guys driving through the streets and they have to stop for like an hour or two hours because somebody's cousin who's embodying a cow because that's I guess what you guys think about and you guys go oh man this cow's in the street but like we can't really do nothing about it because that's my that's Fred that's my cousin right there Fred uh, and that's probably Josephine right there and Hector that's Hector right there so we don't no just we just have to stay here but there was a man I had saw a video recently of a guy and he had tried to have sex. He, I think he actually did have sex with a cow. And I don't condone that particular type of activity. Having sex with cows is obviously not something I would do personally. But it's even worse given the fact that these guys are like gods or something over there, right? Can you imagine that, dude? Man, dude. Well, I hope that... I think they tried to kill him. I think when they found out that he tried to like have sex with a cow, I don't know if he actually got past the front line. But it's a crazy world we live in, dude. I don't even know what we're talking about right now to light i also had some apples oh yeah how do you clean those somewhere um i don't think i recorded it though sometimes and when i look at really fat people doesn't she kind of look like that jordan girl like look back on my channel there's a girl that that got cancer and then she then she alleviated her cancer through weight loss she kind of looks like her a little bit right sometimes when i look at really fat people i'm like you could either be you can either be like 14 or 42 simultaneously and it's always ambiguous right i mean i know this woman's probably in her mid-20s but still like it's i don't know sometimes like i look at these people i'm like dude how old are you like i remember when i was looking at jordan underwood the other day it's like always always when i look at jordan underwood i'm like I'm, i cannot believe this woman's in her early 20s man i really cannot believe it because i look upon her and i'm like dude you got like when i first saw jordan i thought she was a mother i thought she was like had children she had a mortgage i thought it was all that shit and then Oh, I finished the chips. Damn, you opened nice... the chip bag with scissors? I don't think I recorded it, though. And then... You're fucking... This is crazy, dude. You don't pop the top? This is gonna be terrible to reclose, man. Look at this fucking shit. Look at this abomination. She real deal opened this with scissors. Oh, I finished the chips. I oh, also... she finished them. That's crazy, dude. I. Whenever somebody says, I finished it, I always think, like, I'm finished. You know, like, he finished me. 
So anyway, I don't know. That's probably a couple hundred calories that are just completely destroyed in your fucking diet. It's always crazy to me how these people have such great skin. Because I know if I eat something sloppy and disgusting, I have a few breakouts. Like every, I have a breakout every month or so. I got a pimple right here that popped when I was in the shower the other night. And I always wonder how these people have such great skin. You know, can you imagine having such great genetics, having great skin like this, and even great hairline genetics like this, right? And then just not even caring about it. Like, you have great bone structure and all this shit, and you're just, like, inflating your body because you like eating burgers and fries all the time. I had an ice cream sandwich, and then I asked Brad if he wanted And then you had an ice cream sandwich after you finished the chips? Okay. Did you get another dessert tonight after we finished dinner? And he said no. Fish dicks? You got some fish dicks? Damn, man. Um, are they good? I would probably say no, but they're not the worst because fish in general is pretty good. You can't really fuck it up. It is deep fried and it's probably also really, really, really salty given all the preservatives in these things. But I'm all right with the Gordon Fisherman. I do myself have a Long John Silver in the freezer. I don't like you that much. Damn. And then I said... <sighs> unfair i want to get something this is a weird meal dude this is a weird meal french fries and broccoli i'm okay with the broccoli and french fries but it just kind of seems weird to so put them on the same order plate on doordash and now he's looking at me like you know goddamn right well right well i didn't say that i didn't say that what i eat in a day is a 260 pound fat woman first i had two apple sauces with a kool-aid jammer a slice of pizza this this pizza actually looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you dude i would body slam this shit but it does look like some costco costco pizza which by the way anything from costco is going to be anomalous in the amount of calories the other day like i would say two weeks ago right I was at Costco. I mean, I wasn't at Costco, but I was like in the vicinity of a Costco. I was actually at Walmart, but there was a Costco next to the Walmart. You know, like those shopping centers where you have like a mul multiple stores next to each other. And this guy had come out to Costco and he was eating like, you know, the cookies that you can buy at Costco for like $270 or something like that. If you didn't know, the cookies at Costco, those big ones, are 750 calories, okay? I saw this dude come out of the Costco, coming back over to the Walmart. I like waiting outside because I have really no need for shopping because I don't give a fuck about myself and I don't take care of myself in the sense of like buying things unless I really need them. So I just kind of make do with what I got. I don't like buying stuff, right? Anyway, so this guy comes over and I saw him body slam two of them things on the way over. So keep in mind, 750 for each one. He had three and he fully intended to finish them in his mouth, lubricate the insides of his body with these double chocolate chip cookies, 750 each. I'll let you do the math on that one. Big, big calories. That's 2000 calories, by the way. That's 2000 calories. This guy just ate just on the cookies, just on the cookies. And two breadsticks with some Coke, another piece of pizza. Some people just don't care about themselves. Like if you're sitting here, I think this woman's with child. I think she has a children right now. And that's fine. I think it's great to have children. Children are cool people. I think the future of our civilization and our species is super great and incentivized. If you want to have kids, do it. Do it. But do it responsibly. Because if you're sitting here and you're a mother or a father and your kids are fully dependent on you, which is exactly what it is. And keep in mind, I hate it when people say this. Um, the child did not consent to be brought into the world. So given that information, you should be under the you should be under the understanding that you have to literally take care of that person. And in the process of doing that, you have to also take care of yourself. Do not blame your misfortunes on the child. Do not blame the fact that you are fat because of the child. Don't blame any of that shit. It's not the kid's fault. Until that kid's like, I would say 16, 17, or 18, um, they really can't do much for themselves. So if you are fat, or obese as a mother or father, you are doing something wrong and you are putting stress needlessly on that child for no reason, for literally no reason other than you just want to eat food. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Be responsible. And don't get me wrong. I understand we're all flawed human beings, but you know, be better, I guess. LA Jammer and Muddy Buddies. Muddy Buddies do never, are, these things don't look good to me. I feel like... I used to know dudes that used to look like this. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I used to know dudes that didn't know about lotion. As a black man, okay, I know a lot of black dudes would come pre-prepped with the lotion, you know, just do this, get one of these, get the elbows. I didn't know what lotion was from, I would say, the age of when I was born till I was about 10, but I got transferred to a really, really black school because I moved and there was like no other schools that would take me at the time. And I didn't really even understand like, you know, like, oh, I was just going to the school, but it was like 99.9% .9 black guys. 
And I remember going in there, and I remember they were like, hey, yo, who got the lotion? Who got the lotion? And they'd be like, David, you wear lotion? And I'd be like, oh, um, never. I, I don't even know what that is. What is that? What is lotion? What do you do with that? And nowadays, obviously, I got the moisturizer. I do got the lotion. I do take care of myself. But, like, being a white dude, we didn't know about that. Like, that was, like, un that was crazy to us. But I saw these dudes, and it was, like, crazy, bro. Like, somebody was like, so you heard somebody go like this. Like, they would look around just so nobody would see that shit. And then they would go... You heard that, right? And then everybody looked over because they knew what that sound meant. They looked over and they saw one black dude lubricating himself with the moisturization of the lotion. And they're like, yo, let me get some, let me get some, let me get some. And everybody came over. That bottle was done by the end of the day. It was un... You know how they say like, oh, it, somebody got a piece of gum. Everybody want a piece of gum? It was the same thing, but worse with lotion. And then I'm just sitting there going like this. Like, damn, what? How good is that shit? You know, but then I had not realized that ashiness does happen. You know, like you do... Um, you do get the flakes and when somebody's elbow looks like when somebody's elbow looks like the outside of a building, like a brick wall, then, you know, you got to lubricate. You know what I'm talking about? I remember one day I knew a dude come in and he had ash on his face. It was white. He was white on his face and he, it was a whole day cause nobody gave him lotion. Nobody wanted to help him out. And it was tough, man. It's gotta be tough. Me being a white dude. I don't really get that, you know, but I do lubricate now. Um, because I learned from my fellow black people, my black men friends, and I lubricate and I have a whole bunch of good skincare now. I take care of myself optimally. I brush my teeth. That has nothing to do with being black, but I feel like it's something I had to touch on. A fun time sucker, a large fry. Large fry, by the way, if you don't know how much a large fry is, by the way, uh, you kill, you, you, you're not doing it right if you don't know what a large fry is. That's 500 calories. That's 500 calories right there. A large Dr. Pepper with Large that. Dr. Pepper right there is probably 350. 350 easy, bro. No ice. No a ice. Bacon. No ice, dude. Don't even touch me with the water. I don't need that shit. I got the soda, the good syrupy goodness. And the bacon McDouble. Bacon McDouble, dude. You know how many calories that is? 400. 400. How's it feel? Knowing that her McDonald's order was easily 1,200, 1,100, 1,200 calories. It's that easy. And then keep in mind also... How many calories do women usually need to eat? 2,000 at most, probably, depending on how big of a woman you are. Now, listen, if you're a muscle mommy, that's fine. That's great, by the way. I love muscle mommies. I love girl bosses and stuff like that. But if you're not one of those people and you don't need the facilities, you don't meet the facilities, this shit ain't going to do you right. I mean, half your day is literally being destroyed by the fact that you just had a McDub with bacon on that shit, a large fry, and a soda on the side. You literally just killed half your day with calories from just mickey d's alone mcdouble and by the way that shit is wet as fuck dude <laughs> how do you guys feel about wet buns how do you guys feel about that i always kind of think somebody farted on mine which hit the spot damn this is a crazy ass shot yep. an orange pop crazy more muddy buddy how many calories is this shit bro how many calories are these muddy buzzy muddy buddies can somebody let me know down below I don't know. These shits look uncomfortably high calories. They're Kool-Aid to get away from pop. No water. Neapolitan ice cream. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I bet these were the ones, the greater value ones, the ones that don't melt. You know what I'm talking about? The ones you put on the table and you leave them there for a week and they don't even start to like deteriorate. They just stay like that. I bet if you took a bite of that shit, it probably tastes exactly the same too. And French toast bites. Oh, is this what fat girl eats in it? I love people. I really do. I think people are great. I think you should have the ability to choose what you want to eat. But sometimes I feel like people real deal make the wrong decisions. And especially when you have a, a children involved. Today, for breakfast, I had a gingerbread latte from Costa. God damn, you look different, dude. Oh my God. She looks completely different than... Uh, okay, that's the joy of makeup. That's the joy of makeup. And a cinnamon bun. This was actually so good, you know? I feel like... That I'm shit is big as fuck, dude. Look how long that shit is. Warm gingerbread. But you know how they get you? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, okay? Do you see the bottom? I had a gingerbread latte from Costa the bottom, and a cinnamon. Right? Here, I actually have a coffee because I got a coffee this morning, right? Look, you see the bottom of this right here? Look how deep that shit is, bro. That's literally the top of my finger. Now, when you get a larger one, like the bigger sizes, because I fucked up for a long time. I used to get the largest. Now, I just get the mediums because I don't give a fuck anymore because it's too expensive for the, for the larges and you don't get enough in them. But they would stretch in like all the way and you would get like, I would, I would be seen up to here. I'd be seen up to here. Like, I, I'm literally fingering the entire circumference of this shit. Anytime I order that shit, I remember, I remember I literally slid two fingers in that shit. I was like, oh, damn. Damn, dude. You know, I did one of the, I did one of those real quick because it was so, it was so deep. 
I couldn't believe it. They'll fuck you up. They're, don't don't get larges, okay? Don't get larges unless you know somebody behind the counter and they can maybe spray a little bit of some extra in your mouth to give you that, that money back. And burn it. This was actually so good, you know? I feel like a warm gingerbread latte is what I needed this morning. Damn, they really coated this shit. The honey buns... I don't know how much actual ordinary honey buns uh, uh, in terms of calories are because I'm only ever used to the Little Debbie ones. Um, that's the only, if I'm going to keep it a buck with you, I've only ever had the, the Little Debbie honey buns in my entire life. If, if you know, you know. That's because when I grew up, people used to sell them. They used to hawk them in the school, the school lunchroom. Like, yo, bro, I got the honey bun, dog. I got the honey bun. And they used to be cheap back at the time. Like, they used to probably be four bucks a box. And you will get probably eight or nine, maybe even ten of those things inside. And people used to sell them. Like, yo, 75 cents for this, bro. 75 cents. I'll get you with a honey bun, bro. Come on. You know you want that shit. And you look around like, yeah, I guess I do. You got 75 cents. You could find 75 cents on the floor. So he would make, I knew a dude that literally used to double his money every single day off these honey buns, dude. Craziness, bro. Because you don't have the $4 up front, but you got 75 cents. So you're getting a honey bun. And I never bought honey buns personally because I never really liked them, to be honest. But then again, like I said, I'm not eating luxury food. I'm eating the Little Debbie honey buns. And those things are probably 350 calories per honey bun. Not joking to you. So I'm not even, I'm not even, this honey bun's probably way more than that. But at least it's more luxury. You know, I needed it to fuel me. Damn, and the cinnamon bun was out. To sit there and say, like, I need to fuel me, dude. You're breaking your fast on a honey bun. Really think about that for a second. You spent the entire sleep process not eating anything. And then you woke up to eat a honey bun. Your body is literally going, oh, we need more food. We just haven't eaten nothing in like 10 hours. And I really hope this girl gives us some good food, like some eggs maybe, uh, maybe a bagel, uh, some toast or something, some good protein. Oh, here it comes. Here it <gasps> And it's just honey buns. Honey buns and chocolate milk. Absolutely banging. And I was heading into banging. London. So at the train station, I got myself a <laughs> fan of too, grape. Obviously. I haven't had one of these in ages. And do you know what? I love grape flavor things. They should make more grape flavor things in the UK, I think. Right, I was out. So I had some adult juice. Yeah, it was pineapple flavor. Gorge. This is the biggest scam I've ever heard of in my bloody life. £10 for a roll. And look, do you yeah, know you got fucked up. That shit is all bread. Inside of it, a bloody tomato. A bloody tomato and a piece of lettuce in a roll. I would have complained, dude. I would have been like, yo, what the fuck is this shit, dude? I thought this had meat in that shit. I need meat in the food I eat. And I got back from the event. And in the hotel room, I had some Thai sweet chili chicken crisps. Oh, I thought she was licking the outside of the bag. I was about to be like, damn, it got real bad if you're licking the outside of the oh bag. Oh my god, bang in. That's why it's today. Let me follow me for more. This is the cutest Vietnamese iced coffee I've ever seen in my life. This is strong. How do they keep the carb how do they keep the ice in it? Like how do they Am I wrong? Do they make this in the shop the same day or are they How long can Maybe somebody can help me down below. But is ice in it? It's capped. He, she just she just popped it, right? She just popped the cap. How the fuck do they keep the ice in that shit? They had to have made this the same day, right? Okay, I don't know. Whatever, dude. It doesn't fucking matter. Whatever. I've never seen in my life. This is strong. Convenient. Been craving blueberry no dents. I always try by this place. Hello. This is easily 300 calories, man. You know what? I remember back in the day when donuts didn't look like there was a butthole in the middle, right? You know what I'm talking about? Look at the. Look, this looks like a butthole. I need a big hole. I need a big hole. And then because of the big hole, the donut itself is bigger. This is a butthole. This is a butthole. I'm kind of getting a little bit turned on even looking at it. So uh, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe give it a try. Oh, very blueberry. Very moist. Damn. Oh my. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. How did we get here? Just on oxygen, chilling on a bed, eating copious amounts of calories on life support. How did we get here? You gotta take care of yourself. Come on, this is crazy, dude. Come on. Damn, dude, what a life you're living. Slaying down, watching, what is that, heat? I don't know what you're watching, dude. You're watching something with some, some kind of, dang, I don't even see where to... What happened? Where this is stretching around your neck, but I don't even see this. Where's your neck? Oh. Damn. What a tough life. You know, a lot of people might consider this to be like a tough life in the sense of like, damn, I can't believe somebody's wasting the time on earth doing this. But some people just don't have an option, right? And it sucks when I see people that do have options. Damn. 
just going for the rice first. Keep it kosher. Damn. What was she even watching back there? Some kind of Indian movie or something. You're going for it. This is actually kind of sad, dude. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Dude, just body slam that shit. Throw that shit in your mouth. Come on. I know you can one piece that. Throw that shit back. There we go. Mission accomplished. Oh. So, is this what a fat girl eats in a day? Play for breakfast, I had coffee. I had coffee and another coffee and... Doesn't she look completely different compared to, like, what we saw earlier? Man, makeup really fucking changes you. Another coffee. I had three. I won't lie to you. Then I three coffees? How many... Ca I mean, man, people have a caffeine addiction nowadays. Coke Zero was hanging this day, so I just needed the liquids. Yeah, why do so many... <laughs> Can somebody let me know down below? I know that this is, like, a UK thing, but why are you guys so bronze, like, all the time? Why are you, what, what is up with that? Like, I know you guys are not naturally tanning. You guys literally have like 95% of your day is cloud coverage. And it's, it's super depressing over there, apparently, right? And I know you guys are not naturally tanning. So why are you guys putting up this like illusion of being orange all the time? Like, that's not normal. I had an iced caramel latte. I had so much coffee, I won't lie. Then I went to GBK and I had these halloumi fry thing, a peach, and a passion fruit and vanilla drink. Then I had a satay chicken grilled burger. It was so Damn. nice. I got it all over myself. I'm always a mess, like seriously. Then I had the Damn. black garlic tater tots. These were gorgeous. I love them. Oh my God, bang in. Like a night shift when I got Dude, you going too far. Really too far, man. You probably drank like 400 calories worth of coffee. And then you over here body slamming burgers, dude. Can I go look at tater tots? She had those like whatever these things were. The, oh man, that coffee alone was probably like 500 calories. No joke. She got it from Starbucks. I know that shit was heavy. And so I had a snack. So I had some hummus, pita breads. Hummus. Hummus. And some peri peri sauce with a little bit of olives. Lovely. Anyway, follow me for more dolls. This is what fat girl eats in a day. Man, First thing I had today was Nando's. I had olives, halloumi, pita bread, hummus, and dude. a whole chicken wrap. Hot, of course. Peri peri chips and some a spicy. Nando's. I got a Nando's. See, if we were in America and somebody said, I got a Nando's, people would be like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody, nobody talks like that over here, by the way. If somebody, say, for instance, went to McDonald's, I know you guys would say, I got a Mackey's or I got a Mickey D's, right? Here in America, we would say, I got some McDonald's, dude. I got McDonald's, yeah? I got some McDonald's. That's what we would say. I don't know why you guys got to cut out a word that's pretty, it, it needs to be there. I didn't get a Mackey's. I got some Mackeys, or I went to Mackeys. You understand? I don't know why. You guys are like the people that made the language, right? I don't know how many times I got to hear you guys talk, and I go, why did you guys format this language like this? It doesn't make sense. Rice, I'm not going to lie to you. I was absolutely starving. Two hours after Dude, I, I really don't think these people understand what the idea of starvation actually is, because I hear them all the time going, I was literally starving, and I just couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I needed to eat this. It was, it, it was imperative. What are you, diluted? Of course I needed the crisps. So I went to Mickey D's and I got myself a double quarter pounder and then I got the fries on the side. But you know it, like I was really hung over from the night before. So I had to go to the Mickey D's and then to, you know, Obviously, my boyfriend came over, Todd, and so after that, we went to Burger King. Every day. Every day. That's what I hear from you guys. And then always, too, it's always like, and then we put mayonnaise on everything. Really? That's, wow. Every day. Every day I hear this, and I'm so disappointed. After the Nando's, I was hungry again, so I had some Quavers. How the fuck you gonna be body slamming a Nando's? And they'd be like, I was still hungry, so you know I had to go and get some more. These are like one of my favorite crisps. I Damn, that shit ain't even melted, dude. This looks like potatoes. I can't even lie to you. Dinner tonight, I had plant-based meatballs, some tomato sauce. Plant-based meatballs, man. <sighs> What's the point? You know, you know what I really hate about vegans? Um, not even vegans. If you're a vegan, I'm sure you're a beautiful person. But sometimes I hear this like, oh, I'm going to get these plant-based burgers or plant-based chicken or plant-based this and that. Why don't you guys just say fuck it? Like, why are you guys trying to emulate burgers and shit like that? Like, it's obviously not for you. Forget about it. Just go and buy some shit like, you know, why does it need to be emulating? Just keep it a buck. You forsaken the sensation of meat in your mouth and that's fine. If you don't want meat in your mouth, I, I you know, good for you. Awesome. I'm a bad person, right? But for you, if you want to do that, shit, I don't know why I hear so many people go, I need plant-based versions of this, the meat, the meat versions. Why? 
Why do you need that? Just eat like oatmeal for the rest of your life. Or pasta and cheese. Don't know why I filmed it like this. Not something cheese. I normally do. Let me know if you like the angle. And then after that, I had a hot chocolate. I have eaten plant-based shit before because I remember one time I knew somebody that had a whole bunch of plant-based stuff and they didn't like it. And it was in my freezer and I was like, I'm going to eat it, obviously, because I don't waste food. So I just literally cooked um, this like shit called chick-in, like C-H-I-C-K, chick, and then in, I-N, chick-in. And it was gross, but I still body slammed that shit with ketchup because I don't waste food. Check me out. Chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows because I'm watching I'm a Celeb at the moment. Are you watching it as well? Let me know. Oh my God, what a bad angle. Follow me for more. What I eat in a day is a fat bitch who very controversially doesn't give a fuck that she's fat. Dolly garlic bread. Is, is that butter on that shit? You put butter on that shit? Is that butter? You didn't put butter on there. Nah, that's not butter. Don't lie to me, dude. That that that's not butter on a pizza. It's a breakfast shoes because it's literally toast with garlic butter. Let me tell you, I made me. Dude, nah, dude. <laughs> There's just I don't know what to tell you. If you're sitting here and you're putting butter on your pizza, I really think that maybe we need to have a conversation real quick. I think that needs there needs to be a serious intervention. You have reached a serious level of obesity that I think is probably unfathomable. How did you manage to put butter? Who even comes up with that combination? Who has a slice of pizza and about to body slam the... And like, oh, you know what this is missing? Some butter, some margarine, some of that good, sweet butter. Throw that shit on there real quick. Not even melted. Not even melted butter. Hard stick of butter in your mouth. What are you adding extra, like 200 calories on top of that shit? Jeez, man. The cheese fat. Dolly garlic bread is a breakfast shoes because it's literally toast with garlic butter. Let me tell you, I made me one and only beautiful, stunning baby you, you chicken. You guys, you guys eat some weird food, man. This ain't even normal. Whatever this is, is gross. Pima sala. I would rather lick the plate underneath of the plate. How about to fill a meal? Something about those chickpeas that keep you full for so long. You're lying. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. You ain't gonna tell me this shit keeps you full for so long and then I'm looking at, I'm looking at what I'm looking at. What are you talking about? You don't care about being full. How are you going to say that and then body slam cake right after that? Also has a little piece of the millionaire. That's not a little bit. That's a big ass piece, bro. I'm li I saw the... Stop. Stop. I saw the plate. This is the plate, right? You saw the plate right here? All right. Look at this shit, bro. Butter on this fucking dusty ass shit. You disgusting person. So you see the plate? Okay. You saw how big the plate was. You saw how big this plate was. Okay. Look at this shit right here. <laughs> That's the same plate. That's the same fucking plate. You're, you're trying to convince me? That's a big-ass slice. That's a big-ass slice. If you went to somebody's birthday party and you took this slice, people would be looking at you like this. Damn, that's a fucking... It's Jeffrey's birthday. What, you taking a bigger slice than Jeffrey? That's what people are going to say. Look at this thing. Big as hell. Shortbreads are made. I was so looking forward to cereal as well as a late-night snack. That shit doesn't even look good. Me a chance. And, of course, a Red Bull in bed. <laughs> Eating this yummy cabbage. Oh, no, this cabbage. Don't forget your veggies. Why? The Is that a pot. fucking piece of cake? Where'd you get that? Eating this yummy cabbage. Oh, no, this cab <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought my eyes were playing an illusion on me. Like, I thought she went for the cabbage, and I was like, what the fuck is that? What kind of cabbage is that? But it's not cabbage, guys. It's actually just cake, and it was editing. But if you want to eat cake, go ahead, eat cake. I don't know why you got a lot of me, though. Cabbage, yeah, don't forget to eat your daddy. veggies. The pop you guys did a while ago. Damn, pure obesity. Diabetes on full display. Damn, calm down. It's right what there. What a day in London, but it just gets progressively worse. Mine and my mom's birthdays are a day apart. Damn, your mom actually don't look too bad. Your mom actually looks younger than you. Hold up. Can I look at you one more time? Day in London, but it just gets progressively okay. worse. Yeah, your mom look younger than you. What, do you, you got adopted? How old's your mom? Damn, your mom, your mom don't look bad. Mine and my mom's birthdays are a day apart. Your mom don't look bad. So we went to London to celebrate. I got a Diet Coke and we went to Fua Fua. Oh my God. And I just got the basic pancake. They That's were... basic? Excuse me? Do we have a I different a definition of we went... basic? Is this basic? This looks elaborate. What is this thing? To Fua Fua. And I just got the basic pancake. They were amazing though. And my mom took me to the Shard for brunch and it was amazing. For starter, I had Eggs Benedict, and it was my- That's a- this is offensive, dude. What is this thing? Why is it so small? I'm not paying money for this. First time having it, and it was really good. My main was basically the same thing in a different font, but it was amazing. Mm. Ooh, that's tough. That's real tough. I know that's a couple hundred extra. And dessert was a white chocolate mousse. Your mom don't look bad. And then they gave me a free peach bellini because it was my birthday. 
this is where it goes downhill. I think I had about six cocktails in Blame Gloria. By the way, uh, alcohol does add up. It, it most definitely adds up. And if you have, like, martinis or whatever that was. Damn, she's, like, in this sewer where the Ninja Turtles are. Okay. This is where it goes downhill. I think I had about six cocktails in Blame Gloria. I'm already looking at that BK. I'm already seeing it, dude. I'm already seeing the BK. I'm seeing the grease stains. I know what's coming. Gloria. Indigestion. And then got a drunk Burger King. I got a bacon double cheese because I'm a child and don't like anything on my burger. Here is me. You just said you got a bacon double cheese and you just told me you don't like anything on your burger. What is bacon? Is that not on your burger? Is that embedded in the burger? Really intoxicated eating it on the train. <laughs> Yes, it was as good You're as gross. I'm making it out to be. <laughs> what are you saying today is a fat bitch? Damn. You're very controversially. It doesn't give a fuck that she's fat. I have to get some breakfast. Why are you eating just... that shit so slow? What is this white stuff in the in the in the food? Just gonna from shopping, so I had a chicken wrap and a munch bunch. This is the first time I've seen this Haribo, so I had to try it. I'll give them. These are gross. These are really fucking hard. I've had these before, like four years ago. They look like little uh, double-ended dildos. You know what I'm talking about? Don't they kind of look like double-ended dildos? Look at the tops of them. Look at this. They, these are like double ended dildos. They're not snakes. Whoever made these real quick, they was like, yo, how about we make food that, like dildo food, right? And then they made them, and then the people at corporate were like, dude, we can't make dildo food, dude. This is fucking, people are going to be eating this shit. And they were like, oh, no, no, no. Just call them snakes. Just call them snakes. But they don't look like snakes at all. Nobody will know. Nobody gives a fuck. Just make them. And they did. And then here you go. You're eating dildos. Double ended dildos, okay? Big dildos. A six out of ten. This yes. is like part two to the crunchy as well. Someone please Candy tell me the Kit Kats like this. All the chocolate off the edges, then the wafer. You're gross. Obviously that was a like... Why are you playing with... Man, being an adult, I feel like encompasses one a few things, right? We don't have time anymore to tear food apart and eat the weird shit, right? You know how you knew a kid and you had the Oreo and you did this and you dipped it and then you ate it and then you dipped the other one in there or maybe like you stacked them on top of each other. I don't got time for that shit no more, okay? I don't even eat Oreos. I'm eating the food right then and there. I don't, I'm don't. i not looking at extra. The fact that this woman is sitting there like taking off the outside cover of chocolate to eat the under undervalued uh the cookie in the middle i don't care that's ridiculous grow up one please tell me to eat the kit kats like this oh. nobody eats the kit kats like this this is gonna be so messy this is so messy okay i know you're washing your hands right after this and this is what i don't want to have to wash my hands every single time i eat i just don't the chocolate off the edges then the wafer obviously that was a like breakfast so it was tea time next i have mashed bro oh <laughs> okay okay hold up <laughs> what is this what is this right here can you somebody tell me what that is is that beef <laughs> that's beef huh that's beef with mashed potatoes maybe i just don't know maybe i don't know is that beets <laughs> maybe i'm weird uh, maybe i'm weird but um uh, it is, yeah. Uh, next I had some mash mince. This shit don't even look minced. Um, did you even try? Did you just get to take the, the ground beef and just throw it in the pan and just have it cook? You didn't like, you know what I'm talking about? You don't take like a wooden spatula and just kind of make it a little bit fine? No, you didn't even do that? Okay, alright, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm in the wrong. Somebody help me out, please. Broccoli, mince, and beetroot. It was so amazing, but definitely too much food. So I did have a little bit left at the end. I stayed up late tidying my room. That's gross, dude. I'm sorry. It's not natural. This is unnatural. This is gross. This does not look good. And obviously I missed lunch today. So I had these late at night while I was tidying my room. Are you in the bathroom? Here's everything I eat in the day as a fat girl who's not trying to lose weight. So I... <laughs> French fries, ranch, and what is Get this? My friend's dorm at the night. That's so big as we fuck. Didn't up early enough for breakfast, so we big as shit. This thing is massive, dude. The chicken and rice bowls from this place on DoorDash. You guys, it was so tasty, but it was so big I could. What do you mean this place on DoorDash? What does that even mean? You know, DoorDash is not like a a restaurant, right? You know that they go to restaurants. What do you mean I found this place on DoorDash? It's a restaurant, right? Did you like hit up one of the drivers and be like, "Yo, what you got?" Yo, send it over. Tough, and I had it with some leftover mango juice. Then once I came home and did my Sunday. Is that like dead stare when you're looking at nothing while you eat food? <laughs> Said I was too lazy to cook, 
So I just made a super cheesy garlic bread for dinner, and that's everything I. Ate. This is what I, a fat person, eats in a day to lose weight. Starting off the morning okay, with a breakfast crunch wrap. This is turkey sausage, bacon, hash brown patty, eggs, and a little bit of cottage cheese. And then I had a protein coffee. What's a protein coffee, you ask? This. I do four fluid ounces of coffee, one fluid ounce of syrup, and one full protein drink. Cool. Next, we're moving on to a mega pint of Greek yogurt flavored with vanilla syrup. I have a whopping oh, total of 350 damn, grams damn, of that's a lot. In this container, and I don't like it to taste tart as shit, so I'm gonna add two fluid ounces. When you add a lot of vanilla, can somebody let me know, when you add a lot of vanilla to something, don't you kind of taste like the bitterness of the vanilla? You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's like an aftertaste when you, when you add too much of this vanilla syrup and really i didn't even use a full two i used 57 milliliters once you mix it all up it just looks like regular yogurt so you don't have to be worried about the consistency or anything the and i'm gonna add my mini m&ms this is my favorite topping i'm going for like an m&m mcflurry without it being 900 calories instead this one's 386 calories with 40 grams of protein sure, if this sure isn't fine. already on your meal prep 40 grams of protein is pretty good i had two cuties and only one of them had seeds not too shabby for my next trick i'm going to have cheez its and cottage cheese that's cottage right. cheese is Chunky. super slept on, dude. I don't like cottage cheese personally. It's the texture. I'm really a textured person, so I cannot eat cottage cheese. I have eaten it before, but I can't do it. I, it's just it's too chunky for me. It's like when I eat it, I feel like it's expired. Cottage cheese. I don't know. I guess I'm an adult now. I don't have to blend it all the time, but I still enjoy doing it. Ooh. For dinner, I made some open face sloppy joes with a okay. side of green beans. See, it's not bad. Like I like I like burger meat too. You can make it low calorie. She se she seems like she seasoned it pretty well. And this is all right. Straight from the can. And these aren't like super, super sloppy because I can't be Portion trusted. Portion control. White. All that and matters. You ending. can really. Damn. Hold up now. <laughs> hold up. Something's, something's kind of happening with me. Something's happening to me right now, dude. What am I looking at? Huh. Okay. Tonight with my homemade ice cream and my homemade protein sheet cake. It's so fucking good for me. Yeah, you can really do a lot with calorie deficits. If you're if you're really trying to maximize the amount of calories in a day, watch a cookbook. You can really imbue protein in almost anything. You can low calorie almost anything, and it tastes pretty good too. Like if you meal prep as well, dude, you're killing it. You're literally you're you're, you're destroying your the the all the culinary experts out there that think that all you need to do to make something taste good is butter and like salt. Nah, you could do a lot with this. In 20 calories. We're not having one slice. We're having to. I don't like using the mix-in setting on my Ninja Creamy because it just obliterates my cake. I'd like it a little chunky still. And it's not complete without some sprinkles. All in I'm all, happy this she's day losing was weight. If this, works for, if this works for you, if this works for you, 2,200 calories is probably a little bit too much still. Like, she's probably still, like, overweight at that level. But she's probably gaining, she's probably losing weight. Like, if she was used to eating 3,000 calories and she bumped it down to 22, which is what I always say to do is, like, go down slow and steady. Because eventually, this 22 is going to be too much for her, and she's going to have to go a little bit further down, so like 2,000, and then she's going to have to go a little bit further down. But at least she's enjoying the deficit while she has it. 100 calories and 177 grams of protein. 177 what? is pretty good. If you don't know, if you want to gain muscle, what you should do is it should be one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So, for instance, if you weigh 150 pounds, you should be eating 150 grams of protein, which is not impossible, and is actually pretty easy to do, especially if you eat meat. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. So if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you want to become a member of my channel, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine. I want to thank everybody that is a member, though. Thank you so much for becoming a member of my channel and taking the commitment to be with me for the rest of your life. And then also, I want to thank everybody that is also subscribed. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your presence, and I always will. Thank you so much. And anybody that's watched watched as well this far, thank you for taking time out of your day to be with me. I appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in coffee, which I know that you have an addiction to. I do as well. I love it. It doesn't even necessarily taste good, but I know that's the reason why I like it. You know what I'm talking about? Like People like things that don't necessarily taste good if that makes any sense like putting things in your mouth necessarily should always be good things that taste good but let's be honest here for a second you and me have put many things in our mouths that have not tasted good and we do it willingly all the time because you know you're doing it for the sensation of another person or maybe you're doing it because the after effect of that particular thing is going to give you more pleasure than the act of doing it in that moment you know what i'm talking about anyway i know you know what i'm talking about you beautiful specimen of human being Wink, wink. Anyway, 
Um, you're a beautiful specimen. I love the way that you contour your day, diet, and lifestyle to better suit yourself and the people around you. Your ability to grow, prosper, and be beautiful on a daily basis has always enamored me, and I love your existence beyond belief. You are a specimen of human being. Your eyebrows are well lubricated. You don't need to apply lotion upon yourself because you're already lubricated enough. You're beautiful, amazing, and awesome simultaneously. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord, and second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!